<sighs> There's nothing like cleaning up the old evil lair. A saw here, a hammer there. Uh, Nora, have you found anything yet? Nope. You've hidden those weapons from your dad really well. By the way, what is this room, and why does it look so much like Cory's? Oh, I was going to do one of those escape rooms for Seth. I was going to have booby traps and puzzles for him to solve. But then I got bored of it, and, well, you know how it is. Oh, I I've never done an escape room. I wonder... <laughs> Attention! You have activated the escape room. Please turn your attention to the TV for the words of Marissa Boulevard. Seth Lewis, so you have fallen into my trap yet again. You have five days to solve the puzzles in this room. If you succeed, you will be allowed to leave. However, should you fail, well... You know how this goes. The first clue is on the desk. Tick tock goes the clock. Tick tock. Tick tock. Oh no. Dear me, it looks like the windows are all bricked over. Artificial lighting, that was a cruel touch, Marissa. I'll try the door. It's locked. What are we going to do? I don't know, Nora. And what the hell are these symbols supposed to mean anyways? Let me see if I can't remember what that escape room designer told me. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Yes, we are supposed to type the answer into that keyboard over there. It's four digits. Do you remember the numbers? No, I don't remember the numbers. Well, at least I'm a respectable opponent to Seth Lewis. I made sure to pack him five days' worth of food, and there is a toilet in there. Well, we're going to have to do it. You know that, right? Yes, we are going to have to ask you for help. What do you think we should do? There's plenty of objects here for us to interact with. We can try this airplane. The painting. The clock. Turn on the backlight. Opening another drawer on the desk. Randomly start pressing numbers on the dial until we come up with the right four digits. There's this light switch with the sign above it that says, Please press this switch. Or, you know what? I don't care. You can tell the story if you want. Leave in the comments below what you think we need to do to get out of this room, and we'll try it. We'll do whatever you ask. Just remember... This place is booby-trapped. Every move we make could be our last. So, choose wisely. So, these girl fans of mine came running up and they were like, Marissa, what is your dating advice? What should we do to get a guy? And I was like, ladies, ladies, relax. You don't have to be rich or pretty, like me, to catch a boyfriend. All you're going to need is some rope and a taser. Wow, you're such a wonderful person, Marissa. You know, if there's one good thing about being locked up in this escape room, it's that we got to spend some quality time with each other. Yes, I won't deny, it's nice to be around people that realize how perfect you are. Oh, uh, but we better check the phone. Make sure there isn't any new suggestions yet. Uh, oh, here's one. It's from Jay Lynch. He asks, 
What is the painting depicting? Hmm, that's a good question, Jay Lynch. We better investigate, Nora. Hmm, I don't know. It appears to be poor people living their silly poor people lives. I never understood why they don't just borrow ten million dollars from their father like I did. Oh, it's too pathetic. Nora, take it down. Sure thing. Look, Marissa, a clue. So it is. Congratulations, Jay Lynch. You've won the Marissa Boulevard OK Award. In my opinion, you're OK. Now what should we do? Well, that will be up to them. What do you think we should do next? We've been looking around the room and we found a few more objects to interact with. Should we try? The lamp. The bowl of fruit. This bookcase? Or I don't care, use your imagination. Write in the comments below what you think we should do next, and we'll try it. Well, the rectangle does have four sides, and it looks like the number one, so maybe the answer's one, 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 one. Attention! You have activated the pressurized floor. You have ten seconds to get off it, or it will self-destruct. Jump on the bed, Marissa! Oh no. Well, isn't this wonderful? Not only are we playing a game of the floor is lava, only real, but nobody has commented! And it's Thursday! What's wrong with you? I am a beautiful woman in need of help! When I take over the world, you will be punished mercilessly for this! They should be ashamed! Oh, but look, there is some good news! One person you won't be punishing is Jay Lynch. He sent us another comment. Jay Lynch, you puzzle solver, you! I'm going to make sure that you are put on the do not kill or torture list. Nora, let me see what he has to say. Alright. Do any books hold a distinct look or are different from the rest? The books. Well, there's a problem. The floor is explosive. I don't see how we're going to get over there. You know, I was thinking about it, and we could die from these puzzles. So, maybe, just maybe, you could call your dad? No, we can't call my dad. There's parts of a nuclear warhead outside this door. Do you want me going back to rehab again for five years? No. No, I thought not. No. Jay Lynch is our only hope. We'll have to come up with a plan to cross this floor. I think I have an idea. Twenty terrible ideas later. Okay! Go for it! Ow! Good job, Marissa! <sighs> Well, I'll have to try and reach that shelf. There must be something here I can use. Weapons that I hid from father. Bamboo sticks are perfect for flogging. And there's tape and gloves in the drawer. I think I got it. Hurry! My hands are slipping! All right, uh, I'll just reach it over here to the bookshelf. Hmm, 
Nothing seems to have a distinct look or are different from the rest. I guess I should try to pull them off the shelf. Oh no! It appears that if you pick the wrong one, there's a booby trap. This one was noxious gas. Thank goodness I was a distance away. Maybe it's lucky the floor was explosive. I'll have to try to choose right. Little women. Flamethrower. I hope they serve beer in hell. Machine gun. Inkheart. Bees, snakes, and spiders. Oh, that's wonderful. Hmm. The Lost Symblem by Dan Brown. We are looking for a lost emblem. Give it a try. Oh, I'm getting it. And... We got it, Nora! Yippee! Uh. I'll grab some of the other clues. Remember... To tread lightly. Oh, never mind. Oh, let's see here. Yes, we found the second clue. And we have Jay Lynch to thank. Jay Lynch, not only am I going to put you on the do not kill or torture list, but I'm going to make you a world leader. You can have a continent if you want. On me. <sighs> yeah. That was a close one, though. I mean, you almost died back there. I know that look. What did you do, Nora? Well, technically nothing, but I did suspect when I pulled the drawer that it might activate the escape room. Just suspected. What? Yeah, I guess I wanted to spend some quality time with you. I thought doing the escape room might bring us closer together. Oh no. I'm afraid I'm going to have to kill you, Nora. What? I'm so sorry. Really, I, I never would have done anything. Nora, stop. I was considering it, and I've realized that you aren't to blame. Sometimes I forget how beautiful and radiant I am. Must not be easy for you, being in the presence of a goddess. Drive any person mad with passion. No wonder you did this to spend even a second more with me. Yes, you've got it exactly right. It's so difficult for me because you're so wonderful and cool. Well, if we get out of this, I am going to have to give you a vacation. I know, I know, but you need time to recuperate from my presence. It's for the best. Oh, okay. At least you're back. Five years of you at rehab, it, it was horrible. All the other child stars wanted to talk about was catchy pop songs and how wonderful drugs were. And I just wanted to talk about killing and torture and world domination. And they were like, ew, you're weird. It's Good to have someone who understands me. You're my best friend. Yes, yes, I, I won't deny that you are a huge tactical advantage for me, too. But there's business to take care of. I'll have you know that I've cracked the code for this floor. Really? Indeed. I was looking at this clock, and I realized that it had four hands. Four hands. Like the four numbers we need. But I, I couldn't decide if it was from the biggest hand to the littlest, or the littlest hand to the biggest. Then, I noticed this symbol on the bottom that points towards a higher number. 
Following that logic, I type in the code 1953 and... Congratulations, you have deactivated the floor. Feel free to investigate the area. Ha! I knew it! We still have to figure out what the four symbols are, but at least now we can move around again. Thank goodness, I won't have to pee on the wall anymore. Well, let's see what Facebook has commented. Wow, there's actually a lot here. Karen Kite says, I would look through the fruit bowl, as well as under the lamp. Maybe there's a clue there. That's my thoughts. Ingrid White says, Look for a switch in or on the lamp. Maybe look for a hidden key in the fruits. Stephanie Nicole Spano Wilson says, Also check the inside of the lampshade in case there's anything hiding. I'll check the lamp. Hmm. There doesn't seem to be anything underneath it, Karen Kite. Maybe Ingrid White's right about the switch. Nope. That only leaves... Wow, you're right. But Karen Kite and Ingrid White, I doubt there's anything in this fruit bowl. I mean, that would be too convenient. I should have seen that coming. Wow, we found the last one! Things are looking up. So now, the only question is whether or not our audience can figure out the code before we do. Do you know what the four numbers are? The only thing I remember is they have something to do with me, something that would describe me. We'll show the symbols again for anyone who's missed them. You know, though, we're going to have to move fast. There's only four hours left before we're out of time. It's like that video said at the beginning. Tick tock goes the clock. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. That's it. That's it. Nora, I've cracked the code. Come here. Oh, thank goodness. I couldn't make out anything. How did you do it? Well, I won't deny it's complicated. The further I investigated, though, the more the pieces of the puzzle began to come together. First, this is the key to the code. The nine symbols represent the first nine numbers. The rectangle is a one because it looks like a one. The triangle is a three because it has three sides. Two rectangles or two triangles would mean two and six. There are some others I could discuss. The star is a five because it has five points, and the mouth is an eight because it ate something. But they don't matter. More important is the three small symbols above the arrow. These mean the numbers depicted to the tenth place. That's why there's an X over them, as X is the Roman numeral for ten. Knowing this, let's decode the four pages. The first is 10, second, 23, third, 13, and fourth, 6. Here's where things get even more complicated. If you ran these through the alphabet, as is a common practice for code breakers, they wouldn't make sense. First would be J, second W, third M, and fourth F. This is what stumped me. I noticed, however, on the third page, the number one circled. Circle. Where had I seen a circle before? Why, the key has an arrow that's circled at the bottom. This means we're supposed to go back one. So 10 becomes 9, 23 is 22, 
13 is 12, and 6 is 5. Running this through the alphabet, we get I, V, L, and E. But we still only have letters. This code is damn difficult. The letters also represent the numbers. I is the Roman numeral for 1, V is the Roman numeral for 5, and undercase L looks like the number 1, and the E is the most interesting. We know it's a capital because the first page tells us this is the big one. Then it also says to turn it around, which would make a 3. So the code is 1513. Not quite. Remember how I said the code was something important to me? Well, to live right now is important. Therefore, the numbers must be L-I-V-E-1153. One, one, and... What? No, 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 no. The door is still locked, and we only have 20 minutes left. Oh, Marissa, I'm not feeling so good. Why do I feel so tired? Oh, let me check Facebook. Maybe they can help. Oh, here, Karen Kite says, hmm, oh. Uh, I would look at the ceiling, uh, top of the wall, to see if there's any vents. It seems to me that sometimes, in escape rooms, there are hidden items in vents. You're so sort of right, Karen. The vents are leaking a gas. What the? The gases are causing hallucinations now. Wonderful. I have the code figured out, Marissa. Nora, you're drugged. Don't you dare press that keypad. You'll have to trust me. I, I know I've messed up, but this time I have it. You idiot. I-T-E-I-T-E. Idiot! You're going to kill us both! Put it down! The answer is vile! Five, one, one, three! That is incorrect. We shall now release all tortures into the escape room. Oh! Give me the damn keypad! What's the answer? Something that's important to me. Oh! The room's letting out insects! Don't worry, Marissa! I'll protect you! Oh, something that's important to me. Of course! Evil! Oh! Now there's snakes! And the ice ray shooting off! Hurry! The answer is... Three... Five... One... One. You have completed the escape room. Now a message from Marissa Boulevard. What? You beat the escape room? Oh, fine. I'll have a butler escort you home. Congratulations, Seth. <sighs> to find a place to sell these weapons to. Nor are you all right. Yeah, I'm fine. In my defense, it could have been vile. No, actually, it couldn't have been. The E was capitalized. Capitalized letters go at the beginning of words. 
Still, you were on the right track. Good job, partner. Oh, thanks. And, speaking of doing a good job, Jay Lynch, Karen Kite, Ingrid White, Stephanie Nicole Spano Wilson, I've decided to give you $100 billion once I've taken over the world. As for the rest of you who didn't help me, you will be tortured and killed to the full extent of my power! Now, Nora, what did we learn today? Hmm, what did I learn? What did I learn? Well, we created this escape room to torture Seth, and then we got caught in our own trap, so that should teach us to... Nope, I got nothing. Yeah, I didn't learn anything either. But come, Nora, there is mischief to be made. Mischief to be made. <laughs>